Let's walk through the entire 5G PDU session establishment procedure, highlighting each step and the key network entities involved. Step 1 begins with the user equipment requesting a PDU session. The NAS message includes parameters like the data network name set to internet, IPv4 type, SSC mode 1, and default QoS. The NAS PDU session establishment request carries critical parameters such as the data network name, type IPv4, SSC mode 1, and QoS default settings to the network. Next, the access and mobility management function discovers the session management function by sending an HTTP POST request to the NRF, specifying the SMF and the Internet DNN. The service registry responds with an HTTP 200 OK message, providing the IPv4 address and port of the SMF to the AMF. With the SMF discovered, the AMF creates a session management context by sending an HTTP POST request with subscriber info, DNN, and the AMF serving ID to the SMF. This POST request includes the subscriber permanent identifier, data network name as in net, and the serving AMF identity to set up the session context. The SMF queries the subscriber's database by discovering the UDM through an HTTP POST request and then retrieving subscriber session data using HTTP GET in JSON format. Subscriber data received contains the QoS profile including 5QI of 9, allocation retention priority, and charging status as online. Next, the SMF requests the policy control function via HTTP POST providing subscriber and DNN information to retrieve charging policies and QoS rules. The PCF responds with an HTTP 201 created message, returning the policy including QoS 5QI parameters and specific charging rules to enforce. Finally, the SMF confirms the session setup by sending an HTTP 201 created response with the SM context ID to complete the session establishment. The network requests the 5G tower to set up session resources by sending the PDU session resource setup request that includes QoS flow and UPF tunnel information. The 5G tower notifies the user equipment with a NAS acceptance message, indicating the PDU session has been successfully established. The PDU session is now active with the assigned IP address and QoS flow identifier. This marks the completion of the session establishment.